Some may say, oh no, it looks like just your edges. Baby, my my hairline has never started way back here. Never. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. My name is Selena. For those of you that are new, for those of you that are returning, what's up, what's good, what's popping? Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Turn your post notifications on because you guys know I come with a video every single day. And why would you want to miss it, okay? So, you guys, as you can tell by the title, we are going to be talking about hair loss today. Um, I did a video on this previously, but I feel like this is something that I'm going to have to start doing often um if you guys don't know i am three months post-op vsg i had vsg august 19th 2021 um so i'm down about 60 pounds roughly um a little bit more than 60 but 60 pounds um but yeah go check out my other videos if you want to see like my weigh-in and things but today we're going to be talking about hair loss you guys know i always come with the receipts i have my notes we're going to talk about this because yeah mm -hmm, we need to talk about this so the first things first so off off top you won't experience hair loss um like right away you shouldn't um it normally happens within like the third month starts can start in the third month um from three to six months that's where you may experience like hair loss not everybody has hair loss um there are like not everybody experiences hair loss but hair loss is a big thing in weight loss community especially weight loss surgery community um but not everybody experiences it so i did speak to my doctor slightly about this um, just because she she kind of just brought it up. This is my primary doctor that brought it up. Um, and I just wanted to talk about it. So I did ask her some questions and I got the answers for y'all, okay? You guys know I try my best to bring you guys facts, okay? So my doctor, just so our mind is clear, we're going to start this video off great, okay? So my doctor told me that this hair loss is not permanent. It's not permanent at all. Um, so after, you know, sometimes it comes back. Sometimes you only experience hair loss or you noticeably experience hair loss for a month, for a few weeks, stuff like that. Um, but it's not permanent. So let's just say after the six months, it's going to start. You're going to see it start coming back and filling back in pretty much. Um, so she did say it wasn't permanent. So that was a plus. I was happy about that um and like i said she said also it does not happen to everybody um hair loss has to do with the stress that we're having on our body um i believe i didn't ask her this but i believe your temples are like a stress point in your head like in your scalp i believe like the middle of your head um like i think where your soft spot used to be when you were a baby kind of like up here or back here that is a stress point in your head as well which is why you normally see people balding like on your temples right here and in the middle of their head there is more stress points but i know those three are like the main ones um which is why if you look at i might put a picture up here or a video um maybe right here just because it's kind of i don't got good lighting right now um but if you see like my temples are balding and some may say oh no it looks like just your edges baby my my hairline has never started way back here never uh I'm, you know what i'm trying to say so i'm definitely balding or losing hair i'm talking about balding losing hair on my edges it's thinning out but the rest of my hair is fine um but like i said this is due from stress on your body um you have to remember we have rapid i i've definitely had rapid weight loss i've lost almost over 60 pounds in three months so the quick weight loss is putting stress on your body so we do have to remember that um and yeah like i said these are your stress points so we also have to remember to take our supplements my doctor was like girl take your supplements i'm like i'm going i'm i'm doing it 
I'm doing it. So she was like, just make sure like you get a multivitamin. You guys have seen like my vitamin routine. Um, it consists of I'm looking at my vitamins right now, so I won't forget. But I have the Flintstones complete. I take a zinc. Um, you guys know I take B12. I take an iron pill and then like an elderberry pill as well. Oh, and calcium. So she's just like, make sure that you take your vitamins like religiously. Like, and I'm like, yeah. Okay, girl, I got you. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take them. So make sure that you're taking your vitamins when just to help to aid with the um, regrowth of your hair. Um, also, make sure you're eating like whole, like not junk food, like um, not a lot of processed food. I do eat processed food often, but like a lot of whole food um, that's going to um, help get give you more nutrients as well um, and aid in like trying to prevent hair loss um let's see okay so let's just talk more about like prevention um and things that can help prevent hair loss so like i said taking your vitamins um we've already checked that out you also want to make sure that you wash and condition your hair i know like a lot of people are like oh i don't want to touch my hair because blah 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 um but when you wash your hair and condition it you're taking away the oils but you're also putting in healthy moisture into your scalp and your hair with that being said you also want to um like actually massage your head because when you massage your ha hair and your scalp that is um like promoting hair growth it's stimulating the hair follicles so that is helping um like promote hair growth um, so I actually, um, you guys know that I make hair oil. Um, if you didn't know, it's located on my website. Um, but I make hair oil and I use the hair oil. Um, and I actually just take some, you know, I'll take a little bit and I massage my scalp, massage my scalp. And I, I do that either once or twice a day. It just depends on if I remember, to be honest. Um, but massaging your scalp is really going to help. Um, and making sure that you use an oil, um, just to, um, put good nutrients directly into your scalp, if that makes sense. Also, so I believe I'm experiencing hair loss around my edges because I'm not experiencing it up here. Like my hair is still the, like longer, actually. You guys know I need to get my ends trimmed, but that's beyond the point. But my hair is still long like it's even longer than what it was um but i believe i'm um going through hair loss around my edges mainly is because i wear a bonnet so i know you guys know i love me a good bonnet i do um but the bonnets that i had um the bonnet that i had was not my bonnet that i sell um it was the one that had like the little strip the band so the band was sitting on my edges all the time um, the bonnets that I sell have like a, like a little drawstring. So, um, you can get it as tight or as loose, but with my bonnets, I put my bonnets on my forehead. Um, and then I just tighten it and it's good. So all of my hair can get in there with, with the band bonnets, it's just sitting right here and your edges are falling out. So like it's putting pressure on your edges. Um, so if you guys are interested in the bonnets that I have, the drawstring ones, those are, those are also on my website as well. Um, and they're like little satin bonnets and they just... You can put it on your forehead and it won't put any pressure on your edges. So make sure that you guys are paying attention to if you wear bonnets, what bonnets you're wearing. Also, you can get a satin pillowcase as well um, and possibly not use the bonnets. I personally don't have a satin pillowcase and I don't really like satin pillowcases. I'm not going to lie. I would rather wear a bonnet and I don't like satin pillowcases just because I put oil on my hair and I feel like the oil is going to be on the pillowcase and we just we're not gonna have that and it's gonna get on my face and my face is already breaking out that's gonna be another video but yeah so you can also get a satin pillowcase um and like i said also don't brush your hair too so i normally have this like literally just braided down braided to the back style and i don't touch my hair for a whole week and then i'll go in and i'll brush it 
massage like i massage it every day like i'll put oil in it and then just go in and massage it but actually taking it out the braids and brushing it i do that once a week some of you may have to do it more but i just do it once a week and it just honestly it feels so good i actually just did it so i kind of messed up this braid but um i just go in and i brush for about 15 minutes massage my head and do my whole little massage brush routine and that has helped I believe you know kind of keep this part of my hair growing like I said my edges is just because I was using that bonnet that had a band on it I'm going to use because I was waiting for my bonnets to come in and they're in so cool so um one more thing don't pull at your hair don't pull and tug at your hair I feel like the least you touch it as far as like just trying to do like different design designs different styles um things like that you kind of just want it to be simple uh, when i braid my hair i don't start like way up here like it's really loose right here um just because i know that those are my bad points so i kind of just braid brush it that once a week and um braid it back and i don't touch it anymore don't touch it don't touch it obviously you can get your hair done if you need to get your hair done if you're going out somewhere but you guys normally you guys know that i normally wear wigs so it's not a problem also with wigs be very careful i would not advise using like hair glue right now the wigs that i wear um and that i offer or that i'm offering have like an elastic band on them that's what i use and that's because I can, I don't have to put glue on there. It's like the glueless method. I don't have to put glue on. So it's not, it's not putting any strain on my edges as well. But yeah, we're going to get, we're going to get through this. We are going to get through this. Um, hopefully, you know, with the change of my actual bonnet, hopefully that helps out a lot um i do put oil and stuff on my edges it's just like can you guys even see that it's like real thin but it's not like horrible yeah it is horrible actually this is a hot ass mess oh <gasps> oh sometimes i <laughs> i'm dramatic though but no for real though you have to be very like aware make sure you're taking your vitamins like i said um massage your scalp put oil on your scalp um if you guys have any questions or anything um i can definitely assist you just like comment down below what do you guys do to help with your hair loss are you experiencing hair loss and if you are like how far out are you on your vsg journey um let me know because i'm sure people are wondering i'm sure this is a hot topic this is a hot topic so I hope you guys enjoy this little video about my hair loss and what I do and trying to give it give you guys the tea. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Turn your post notifications on because you guys know I come with a video every single day. And why would you want to miss it? Until next time, bye friends. Bitches and hoes.